to us? Thank you. All right. So, in the morning, we always read a message. Let's have our eyes on the words. Here we go. September 12th. Let's all read that together. September 12th. What does this first greeting say? Dear readers. Let's scoop it and say, dear readers. Dear readers. Now, there are lots and lots of words here that we know. If there are words that are tricky, you, you can think about the first letter. Are you ready? And think about what makes sense. Here we go. It is so much fun to read books about friends. Good. Let's try that again and make it smoother. It is so much fun to read books about friends. And we're going to do it one more time because I want all the eyes here and all the mouths working. Brains on. Are you ready? It is so much fun to read books about friends. Very good. Now, here's what I'm wondering. We know this word. I wonder what toot and puddle will do in the next story. Hmm. Let's go back and make that smoother. I wonder what toot and puddle will do in the next story. And one more time, all eyes on and brains on. Ready? Here we go. I wonder what toot and puddle will do in the next story. And there's my smiley and my name, Mrs. Contiana. Now, in this message, there are lots and lots of words that have just two letters. And those words are really, really easy to read. So let's find some. We're looking for words with just two letters in them. Emily, can you find one? Let's see what Emily finds. If you find one just like that you were thinking, she finds one that you were thinking about, just do this. What is that word? Does it have a vowel? What vowel is in that word? I. The I is. So this word is just two letters and it has a vowel. Can someone find another one? Another two letter word, Marco? We're looking for just two letters. These words are easy to read. What is that word? Do. Do. Does that two letter word have a vowel? Yes. What is it? Oh. Oh. Fantastic. Okay. Very good. There's two O's. Where? 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 Oh, you're, I see what you're saying. The circle looks like an O. I get it. Yeah, I can. I, I can see that. I see that. Aubrey, can you help us out? That means it's just something to I like how everybody has their eyes on and they're thinking on because Oh, how many of you saw that one? What is that one? So. Does it have a vowel? Yes. It does. Oh, yes. Hey, you're, you're different. Oh, oh. The so. So and do have and the same vowel. Yeah, like they are rhymes. <laughs> so and do. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't rhyme. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hold on. Hold your thinking. Now, I want to talk for just a moment. Vowels are important, right? Because. There has to be at least one in every word. Look, we've got it here, here, and here. Let's find, I know there are more, but we're going to find just one more. Just one. Eli, can you help us? Oh, Can you find the vowel there? I. Yeah, this one starts with a vowel, doesn't it? Good job. All right. I know, we did. I said I wasn't going to do them all. Two letter words are so easy to read. Let's read them. Here we go. What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? And we said we forgot that one. What is it? You are fantastic. You found them all. I love it. All right. I just saw it first. You forgot that. I am so glad you saw those. Yes. Fun and deer. Tell me about fun and deer. So, fun has F 
U N mm -hmm. and U is well. Mm -hmm. And there is C E A R and E and A R vowels. So our vowels are really important because there has to be at least one in every word and actually in every part of a word. So we'll talk we'll get into that too. But right now we have to read our alphabet chart because we need these letters when we read and we need the, to know these letters when we write. So authors are writing stories for us. Mm -hmm. And read and be a better reader and knowing every book and you can you know fiction and you can know about me. We need them for our names too. They're in our names. These letters are in our names. We need to be able to spell our names. We need to be able to read words and write words. Okay, are you ready? All eyes here. Here we go. A, A, apple, A, A, A. I need to hear all first graders. Here we go. B, B, banana, C, C, cat, C, C, circle, D, D, dog, E, E, egg, E, E, ear, F, F, fish, G, G, goat, G, G, giraffe, H, H, house, I, I, igloo, I, I, ice cream, J, J, jam, K, K, kite, L, L, leaf, M, M, mouse, N, N, nose, O, O, octopus, O, O, ocean. I hear it. I need to hear everybody. Are you with me? Here we go. P, P, pencil, Q, Q, queen, R, R, ring. S, S, sun, T, T, turtle, U, U, umbrella, U, U, unicorn, V, V, violin, W, W, window, X, X, x-ray, Y, Y, yo-yo, Z, Z, zebra. Let's practice our vowels. They have two sounds. Here we go. A, apple, A, A. E, elephant, E, ear. Ready for I? I, itch, I, ice cream. O, o octopus, O, ocean. You've got O, O, two O. You got that. I think I'm okay. Hang in there. Ready? Stick with me, Martha. Here we are with you. You, uh, you, unicorn. Well done. All right. We started learning a new poem yesterday. It's fun to read. Are you ready? Let's try it. Five fat peas. Five fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day the pod went pop. All right. Now, we're going to read it one more time, and then we're actually going to scoop some words. Are you ready? Here we go. Five fat peas. Five fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day the pot went pop. Oh my gosh, can anyone tell me why your voice got loud at the end? Why did your voice get loud? A hand in, a hand in the air is really, really great. Yeah, Eleanor, why do you think you, your voice got loud right there? Because of the exploitation. This exclamation mark is helping us know to say it louder and be excited. Is there another clue that we have here? Raphael? It's bigger. The letters are all big, aren't they? Let's do some scooping here. Five fat peas. peas. We can say that all together. And uh, Ready? Here we go. Five, five fat, fat peas. peas. Now, watch me scoop these words. It's going to be five fat, fat peas in a pea pod press. Fat. This is the hardest part of this poem. This is hard, and we just have to learn to scoop all of them together because I think it sounds best that way. So let's try that. Ready? Five fat peas in a pea pod press. 
And that means they're all in there tight and together, right? They're all pressed in. Show me that pea pod pressed. Pea pod pressed. Ready? Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. Good. Watch this. This is going to be easier. One grew, two grew, and so I gotta think about that. Do you think we can scoop all that together? And so did. I like that. And so did the rest. Do you like it like that? You like it like that? Let's try it like that. Let's try it and see how it sounds. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. I agree with you. I agree. Good thinking about your phrasing. So. Here we go. Oh, so is a two-letter word. Good thinking. Ready? Let's try this one. How about they grew and grew and did not stop. Ooh, stop is all by itself. I like that. Let's see how it sounds. They grew and grew and did not stop. Ooh. Let's try until one day together. Until one day the pot went back. I love it. All right, we're going to do it one more time with our beautiful phrasing. Here we go. Five fat peas. Five fat peas in a pea pod rest. One grew, two grew, and so did the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day the pod went back. Can you please go get your whiteboards, markers, and socks? I'm, I'm